I am rocking the Can I Have a Waters. Cam is rocking the Strawberry Mimosas. Emmanuel is walk, uh, rocking the Coffees. And uh, it's, it's doing good, man. So if you haven't gotten a pair, go to ShadySideUp.com. Get you a pair. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and most importantly, click the bell so you get notified as soon as we drop a new video. Also, if you have clicked the bell, make sure that your YouTube notifications are enabled so that you get the notification. Enjoy the video! Hi, my name is Marvin Tope, and this is the story about the time my cousin had cocaine raining on us from the back seat of his car. <laughs> All right, so this is, all right, so first, I wanna give my cousin like a little caveat. Every story in my life where I get into trouble is with him, right? We, he's been my, he's been my eighth spoon coon since we were, I was born and he was two. So we grew up together and all this. So I'm now away at college, right? No. Sorry, I'm now in New York, fresh out of college. I'm fresh out of college. Um, I'm a new dad and uh, I go home. Just go to Baltimore, you see my mom, I had to take the kid down. And at this time I, I was still with my kid's mom, like in a relationship. So we, we go down and she's always leery of Baltimore. Oh, it's Baltimore, it's the wire, Just shut up, it's home. So <laughs> we get to my mom's crib, having a good time. And then my cousin's like, yo, you in town, let's go to the club. Bet, right? What's wrong with going to the club? And so I go, all right, let's go, nigga. Are you dirty? Is my first question. Nah, you know I wouldn't put you in no situation like that. Bet, right? So. We pick, he comes, he picks usually, me up. Usually everyone that say that puts you in some shit. Oh, like nigga, I, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Nigga, every story that I've been, like I said, every story I've been in in trouble, it's with him. But I, I I buy it. He pulls up in a Ford Taurus, which is what I really should have known the nigga had drugs in the car. Yeah, like, that, it, too. <laughs> <laughs> a, a Taurus in the early 2000s was a drug car, right? It was like having an old uh, Buick a Sabre or um, back in the 90s, nigga, we know what you do. So he pulls up, we get in a car, right? So my kid's mom is from New York. She's she's a good girl, right? And in, in, the, in the scheme of what the streets are, right? She's not got real streets experience. My cousin get in the car, he gets out, he comes to say, he goes to speak to my son, my, my baby son. So he grabs my son and he smiles at him. My son cries immediately, right? Cause this nigga had fangs and bottoms and just, so my son cries immediately. That is the second time I knew I shouldn't have gotten in this car because the Lord speaks through the babies, like they say, shouldn't have gotten in the car. So we get in the car anyway, we're driving. Um, he go picks up his girl. So it's me, my cousin, our two girls are in the back, right? We're driving, we're driving, we're driving. The police pull us over. Oh, shit, nigga, the motherfucking police. I don't know why the police pull us over. They do. He hits the brakes. When he hits the brakes, a lot of you not coke vials roll up from under his seat and hit my feet. Maybe y'all didn't hear what I said. We in the car and coke vials roll from under the seat up to my feet and it hit my feet. I said, yo, nigga, you got coke in the car? Oh, nigga, I forgot that shit was there. <laughs> Real shit. So now the police are off asking for his license and registration. He has no license. There's coke under my feet that I'm trying to kick back under my feet. And I have a kid's mom in the back who is freaking the fuck out. Put the, open the window. You wanna put the heat under the fucking open seat? Them open the window. Don't panic, don't panic. Just chill. Now, here's the problem. If we all stay cool, the cops would be like, get the fuck out of here. There's a woman in the back seat of the car 
sweating profusely. And she just had her hair done, so you know she wasn't sweating on purpose, nigga. And so I'm like, yo, chill, yo, chill, yo, chill. She goes, I have more crack under my feet. So apparently, not only did crack roll to the front, is in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're in the car. There's years of jail time yeah, sure. under my feet and under my kids' mom feet. I'm looking at my cousin. He was like, "Yeah, nigga, they suspended my license. Why would you offer to come pick me up? <laughs> Why would you?" So the cops run the shit, and they're like, "Hey, step out of the car, nigga. I'm going to jail." I think I'm going to jail. Like, I, I knew they were going to jail, right? So as he gets out the car, he takes his hand into his pocket and throws something out of his pocket into the seat. It's a gun. Uh, he just keeps in your life is going down. <laughs> Nigga, I'm like, we gone, gone. Because I know the gun not legal. I know it's dirty. Yeah, yeah. It might three, four, five bodies, maybe. Mm -hmm. So as a cousin I am, I take the gun slide it into the joint and let it drop to the side, right? So it dropped in between the seats. What I wasn't thinking is that it was gonna roll to the back by my kid's mom, who is now <laughs> in a full panic attack. Go to jail. At that moment though, they were just kids like us. Because the gun slides to the back. On the way back, can't make this shit up. It takes out the, the butterfly, you know, the yeah. butterfly blades. One of those falls out with the gun to the back seat. So now, we're in the car. Someone with a suspended license. Crack underneath two people's feet. A dirty gun and a butterfly blade and a white woman. Now, the reason why I tell you I didn't tell you her race is because I am free today because of her, okay? White women have power with the police that I just, we so don't. That was, that was your cousin's girl. Though. That was my cousin's girl, oh, okay. which is why I understand why he dates white women. The car was in her name. The cops said, whose car it is? She said, it's mine. The officer was like, do you know his license is suspended? She said, no. They said, all right, well, we're gonna let you guys go just don't let him drive your car anymore. You know that joy you get? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like when you get saved by God, like mm -hmm. that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I was so happy, All right? So we're in the car, we're driving away. We can't make this shit up. My cousin goes, Bitch, who told you to open your mouth? What? To where my cousin and this girl are now in a physical altercation between the front and back seat of the car that just got pulled over that's got illegal substances. So I get mad at my cousin instead of saying, let me out. Now I'm struggling with this <laughs> nigga because I don't like him putting his hands yeah. on a woman. And so it's three motherfuckers in the car tussling. The white woman is driving this car, ladies and gentlemen. I think that might have been the day my kid's mom decided it was over. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, brother, this ain't the family for me. Uh, so get out the car. Him and I have words. The white chick comes up to me, thanks me. And then he's like, yo, we still going to the club? No, nigga, I'm going, and we didn't have Ubers then, so I'm now in the middle of down, not even downtown Baltimore, west side Baltimore, like this, in the middle of the night, looking for a hat to go home. Get home. My cousin calls me and goes, yo, that's fucked up what you did. That's it. <laughs> that's the story. I was fucked up. <laughs> I'm not 
All right, so question, all my questions, your, your, your baby mom, <laughs> what did she say to you in that cab ride? You know, she's screaming when y'all was fighting, like, what the hell's wrong with y'all? What, what's up? No, so you know how some people just, like, they retreat in when they're upset? So she retreated in. And my son is 16, I don't think we've talked about it yet. <laughs> so this was 16 years ago, and y'all still yet to talk about it. I, there's nothing. She, she did say, I can't believe your cousin did that. But that was like, it wasn't a blame on me, yeah, yeah. which she, uh, she understood. But uh, we've never like, never. how you feel? Like, you still got crack residue on your heels? Like, we never talked about anything. You never hung out with your cousin again, yeah, right? Never. never. Yeah. And she broke up with you after that? Nah, that was just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been hilarious. That been funny. Nah, that was just a joke. I was in it. Like, I was watching the movie, yo. Yeah. And niggas, they just. Nigga, nigga, you be in that, that, you like, when you just know you're going to jail, you like. Nigga, I just, like, mind you, this is not the first time I knew I was going to jail with him. Yeah, yeah. But this time I wasn't responsible. How, how many years do you think you would have got for that? Cool. All right. Um, if they if they were giving out crack sentences the way they were giving out crack sentences, then it was easy 15. Oh, so you would have just got out. Yeah, right? Some real shit. You would have been even more swole than you are now. I'm not that swole anymore. But you wouldn't have known about boot cuts, so that's it. No, nah, nigga, I'd probably still be wearing boot cuts. What are you talking about? <laughs> 15. <laughs> that's a nigga. You don't get a fashion update in jail, nigga. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, what comes in the box once you get it? All your retainers. I got 15 of them, so it's gonna take me 15 weeks to straighten my teeth. And I only got the top teeth because I need a bottom tooth extracted. But what's cool about Bite, they work with me, so they'll still help me with my top teeth until I get my bottom teeth situated. So I got 15 retainers all in this box. Also, got some accessories. I got, you put your retainers in carry around when you take them out to eat or if you out or whatnot at a restaurant and you're on a date put it in there and I got some whitening foam to use whiten my teeth also we got the hyper bite which is really cool which um, cuts your time in half if you use it every day I think it's just for five minutes a day it'll cut your treatment time in half there is the only technology that um, Bite has, the technology that only Bite has, which is really cool. It separates them from all the other competitions, so I'm excited to use that. And yeah, so today is the day. I'm going to open this one. See what it looks like. Boom. But I still get the bottom with it, but it's probably just going to keep it in place where it's at, which is cool. But this is the my first... My first trade for the first week of straightening my top teeth. So, comes with instructions. The weight comes with a little sticker that says the weight is over. It's time to bite. I know you can't see it. Just focus. I don't know. This is cool. Let me, let me pop it in, and it fits. And it's comfortable too. But I gotta take it out before I eat or drink anything that's not water. So that's cool. So let me put this in a tray. So if y'all wanna start on this journey, just use my code BITEDT. This is the story of my wild Halloween night at Georgia Tech. <laughs> 